want to quickly talk about the, the overall Charger first before we start getting into the wide body. We've seen some great success with this car in the past few years. Um, the past five years in retail, we've sold more Chargers than any other standard full-size car. Um, and in the past seven years, we've sold about 80,000 Chargers per year. Um, there's a lot of Chargers on the road. One, there's a few things that we think that make this car pretty unique and successful in the marketplace. Two things, um, it really has multiple, multiple personalities. Um, and there's nothing really like it. It is the only four-door muscle car available in the market. Um, and when I say it has multiple personalities, I mean that in two ways. So first way, we have a huge breadth in the lineup. Um, we start with a 3.6 liter V6 rear wheel drive. That V6 comes in a few different flavors. We have the rear wheel drive version. You can get that in all wheel drive. And then we have a performance V6. And then on top of that, we have three V8 trim classes. Um, obviously the top one being the Hellcat with 707 horse. The other reason why I say this car has multiple personalities, we'll use this Hellcat as an example. If you get in this car, start it up, it's an awesome daily driver, quiet, smooth, um, easy to drive, and then you hit the track button or the sport button and it totally changes the car. It stiffens up, the steering stiffens up, the car becomes louder, and it's just a totally different animal. So I know you guys wanna hear more about the wide body, so we'll start getting into it. I'll get into every single nut and bolt that we changed for the 20 model year and added the wide body. We'll start off in the front. As you can see, we added a new grill and fender flares. So our body guys did an awesome job with this. Um, if you look at the 19 model years, there's a, a strip under here that we eliminated. We're able to bring the grill and the grill textures up a little bit, making it a little more modern looking. And then wrapping around the sides, You'll see that both the front and rear fascias are integrated into the fender flare. Um, we have updated side sills as well that kind of bring the front and rear fascias together pretty nicely. And then in the back, you'll see a duckbill, a gurney flap style spoiler. Um, that's going to be standard on every Hellcat wide body SRT. Um, under the hood is the proven 6.2 liter, uh, 707 horse, 650 foot pound torque. It's a beast of an engine. Uh, we did actually add under the hood one new thing for 20 model year. Uh, we added EPS, so electronic power steering, to the wide body. The Hellcat Charger was the only one not to have electronic power steering in the lineup. But with these big wheels and tires, it really makes turning in parking lots very easy um, and on the track um, ultra responsive. So moving on to the probably the biggest visual thing that you guys are seeing. Um, these massive wheels and tires and brakes. So the outgoing Hellcat was 20 by nine and a half inch wheels. These are now 20 by 11 inch forged wheels. Um, you see the six piston Brembo brakes with the two piece rotors. Um, and then a lot of the hard work our engineers did, you, you can't see from the outside. Um, we've, they've specially tuned the suspension to account for all the wide body parts that we put on this car. So the springs are 32% stiffer um, we've revised, revived the uh, valve tuning and the Bilstein adaptive damping system. And um, we've upgraded both the front and rear sway bars. So bringing around, um, you see all, all, everything that we've done to this car and you guys are probably wondering, yeah, what does it actually do? We made it look badass. We put a bunch of cool performance parts on it, but at Dodge and SRT, we all are about performance. So we, we had to do something for us for per perform performance. So I'll start with handling and then I'll go to top uh, uh, drag strip and straight line, kind of what we're known for. So handling, we can confidently say this is the best handling Dodge Charger Hellcat that we've ever produced. Um, it pulls 0.96 G on a skid pad, which is insane for a four door family sedan. Um, in a 2.1 mile uh, racetrack, we were able to coincidentally get 2.1 seconds faster than the outgoing Hellcat, which equates to about 13 car lengths. One car length is huge, but 13 is incredible. Um, but on to straight line performance and drag strip, obviously that's what Dodge is known for. We were able to improve both of our zero to 60 and quarter mile times. So zero to 60, we're able to improve by a 10th of a second. In drag racing, you guys probably know better than most people, a 10th of a second is everything. 
Um, we are also able to improve the quarter mile time. So we're now at 10.96 seconds at 125 mile an hour trap speed, which is pretty incredible. We also get this car up to 196 mile an hour top speed. You can go buy this car, not right now, but you can go buy this car from the factory and get it up to that speed, which is pretty amazing. Uh, with that all being said, I wanna talk about where we're actually offering this at. So for 2020, every Hellcat will have the wide body kit included on it. We're also offering it for the Scat Pack owners. So maybe if you don't want 707 horse or you can't afford 707 horse, we'll be offering this on our 485 horsepower Scat Pack. Um, I know some of you guys were able to drive them today, uh, the Challenger version, but we'll, we'll be offering on the Charger as well. Some of the additional features that you'll get when you get it on the Scat Pack are all the, all the components we talked about on the Hellcat, but then you'll also get the uh, six piston front brakes with the two piece rotor and the adaptive damping suspension system. You can change it on the fly, it's really nice. Um, with that being said, we know all these cars are our daily drivers. People take them to the track, people take them to work. So we didn't want to forget about some of the little features that people see every day, the interior. So for all the V8s for 20 model year on Charger and Challenger, um, we're offering a carbon, a carbon fiber and suede package. So it's real carbon fiber bezels with a nice satin black finish, and then a suede headliner, A-pillars, and sun visors. Um, we've also touched almost every single wheel in our entire lineup from the SXT all the way to the Hellcat. These are personally some of my favorites. These, this is an optional wheel on this Hellcat. Um, we dubbed it the Warp Speed wheel, and it's finished in a low, low gloss granite. Um, last but not least, colors. I wanna talk quickly about colors. You'll see this um, Frostbite. We've not had this color before, so we're offering three new colors for 20, uh, 20 model year. Frostbite, as you can see here, um, we have a dark metallic purple that we've dubbed Hell Raisin, and a, uh, a, uh, an orange kind of copper metallic that we've dubbed Cinnamon Stick. Um, <laughs> yes, like Sin. Uh, <laughs> so last but not least, timing. Every, uh, I've gotten this question from a bunch of people today. Um, dealers and customers will be able to start placing orders at the end of 2019, and then we should start seeing them arrive on dealer lots at the beginning of 2020. So I just want to thank you guys very much for letting me talk to you guys about this car and having this car here. Obviously, we're really excited about it. Hope you guys are too. If you guys have any questions or anything after, I'm happy to talk to each one of you. So thank you very much.